Alrighty guys, and we're back to Star Wars Review. Weekly Star Wars Recap for March 9th, 2020. So yeah, um, last one was out on May, or um, May, <laughs> Wednesday, uh, so, uh, I said March 9th, I didn't say May 9th, and March 9th, 2020, but um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so you know, in those few days, it really was a lot. Of stuff to talk about, so yeah, um, but no, there's, you know, I guess, you know, Mandalorian Season 2, uh, I guess, wrapped filming, so I'll talk about that a little, um, so yeah, and then, you know, some other stuff, uh, minor stuff I probably wouldn't normally talk about, and I guess, kind of an update on that Project Maverick thingy, um, but, yeah, so new releases for uh, you know, the previous week. There's only one, which was Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 3, on the Wings of Cardax. It was okay. Um, probably my least favorite out of the uh, new season so far. But uh, yeah, I read that, which you can go check out. But uh, for new releases this upcoming week, there's four. Uh, three new comics and another episode of Clone Wars. But um, those comics are... Bounty Hunters Issue 1, which comes out March 11th, 2020. Um, the Rise of Kylo Ren Issue 4, um, which comes out the same day. And then Darth Vader Issue 2, which also comes out the same day, March 11th, 2020, which is Wednesday. So yeah, um, you know what? I'm excited for Rise of Kylo Ren Issue 4, uh, except for Bounty Hunters, Darth Vader, you know. The first issue was my favorite uh, issue, but yeah, so interesting in the series. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm probably most excited for Ryan's kind of in issue four, just to see you know how that you know, story ends. Wish it was longer though. <laughs> you know, it's one where it's like, man, I wish it was like, you know, like a two volume, twelve issue ongoing. Um, series kind of like Kanan, um, but, you know, it is what it is, and then, uh, Star Wars Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 4, Unfinished Business, uh, which comes out March 13th, 2020, which is Friday, so again, the, uh, final episode of The Bad Batch, uh, my review probably will be a little late on that one, uh, I'll be going out of town on Friday, so I probably won't be able to get it out, so, in time, uh, so I could record it well, Away, but it'd be really, it'd, be, it'd just be shitty. It'd just basically be me talking over a, uh, you know, still image. Um, and there won't be any thumbnail art or anything, so. Yeah, um, so you know, probably wait and we record with my phone, phone, so be real shitty, but, um, yeah. Anyways, um, let's jump into the news. I'm gonna start off with the uh, video game stuff. So Project Maverick you know, it leaked on Wednesday uh, from like the PlayStation Store bot, Twitter bot, and just you know, automatically tweets you know PlayStation Store stuff out. And um, you know it um leaked out this Star Wars game called Star Wars Project Maverick, which you know from, um, I his name, but, yeah, a guy from Kotaku, from on Twitter, is from, you know, uh, EA Motive, so, yeah, who, um, did the uh, story mode for Battlefront 2, I believe, or, you know, at least help work on the uh, story mode for Battlefront 2, but, um, 2017, but, um, yeah, and because of that, we also knew some other random stuff, I guess, stat thingies, I don't know, um, because of the PlayStation Store thingy, but, uh, so yeah, it won't be a VR title, and the content ID suggests that it'll be a beta, early access version of the game, and that the uh, Play Together rating is a 5, so you know, have some sort of multiplayer involved. Yeah, I would think a co-op, uh, like X-Wing, 
game would be cool, having like you know, four or six people all fly their own X-Wing and go out and do like missions and whatnot, be a uh, cool thing. You know, I'm only saying that because of the artwork, you know, see the Star Destroyer and the X-Wings. Um, saying, so, yeah, you know, an X-Wing, you know, game would be uh, cool. But, you know, um, yeah, Motors came with trends being smaller and weirder or unusual, which I don't know if that type of game is really unusual. Um, I don't know, maybe for on EA standards it might be unusual, but, but yeah, you know, uh, multiplayer game like that can, you know, allow multiplayer and a story at the same time, which you know, I don't know if I really want a 2015 Battlefront again. Um, but then again, you know, it's, you know, space, X-Wing kind of stuff, um, and it plays nice, and I'll probably enjoy it more than, um, about from 2015, I, I don't, to be honest, I really don't like, um, the Battlefield games, you know, there's a type of shooters dice makes, I'm not the biggest fan of, fan of, um, so yeah, um, anyways, there's also, Another, uh, I guess, sort of game related thing, but, um, yeah, it's like Cinelink, uh, I guess it's the same uh, Port Set, uh, there might be a VR game based, um, during the High Republic era, and you know, it's be part of the High Republic, and I guess that's what the, uh, reported High Republic video game is, so, yeah, um, don't know other much, much else other than that, so yeah. Um, yeah. Nothing really else to say there. But um, then Mandalorian season two is wrapped um, on Instagram. Um, Gina Carano, he's the actress who plays uh, Cardoon, had an Instagram post saying that's a wrap. Um, this is who, you know, likes a picture of her costume, sitting on a ramp. And then, um, cinematographer, I'm going to butcher her name, but Baz Edoin, um, posts on Instagram, you know, saying, you know, that, you know, it's a ramp or whatever, um, same thing, uh, and you're showing the, um, the, uh, yeah, cl clap board, um, that's what it's called, uh, you know, showing... And, you know, the scene number, whatever, and whatnot. But then, you know, has the Mandalorian, you know, has his name, and then Dave Filoni. Um, and I guess it's scene 501, take one, so. Yeah, uh, don't know when, obviously, what episode that picture is for and whatnot. Obviously, you know, they could film. Yeah, episodes of order, I guess, but, um, I don't know, maybe Dave Filoni is directing the, uh, finale? Um, but, you know, it's from earlier in the shoot, or it could be they shot something out of order, who knows, um, but, uh, yeah, um, obviously Dave Filoni, um, Mandalorian, I enjoyed, um, the first episode, Still wasn't my favorite, but then, you know, the fifth episode was definitely my least favorite, um, what he directed and wrote, um, it was definitely my least favorite out of the entire season, so, yeah, um, but yeah, you know, wrapped, I would, you know, I don't know when we'll start seeing, you know, promotional stuff for it, um, let's see, I don't know if you'll even see anything till you know, August, it's our celebration, but, yeah, um, so, yeah, you know, which I'll really say there, um, so, yeah, uh, but, yeah, you know, not much else to really talk about other than that, you know, a shorter episode this week, um, yeah, this upcoming week, I'm gonna, you know, get some stuff out, uh, 
Mandalorian Season 1 review should be out either tomorrow or Wednesday, but um, also I have Darth Vader Issue 2 review and the Rise of Kylo Ren Issue 3 review. I've had those recorded for... The Darth Vader one I've had recorded for well over a month now. I just need to, you know, edit it and whatnot. And Rise of Kylo Ren, I've had Issue 3 I've had, you know, recorded since, you know, around when it came out. Uh... So yeah, and then, um, eventually I'll do you know, Star Wars issue 3, and that might be over the weekend. Um, yeah, another part, another few more parts of Jedi Fallen Order. I've already, you know, started recording the next playthrough, which will be LEGO Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, so, yeah. Uh, I'll probably, I'll probably you know, be around 10 parts, um, depending on how long, uh, stuff takes. Um, for that series, but, you know, that series will probably still be, you know, like two weeks until, uh, the first part goes up, um, so, yeah, uh, but, yeah, um, and then, you know, over the weekend, I'll try to get some stuff out, uh, probably record a few, you know, other stuff, maybe some, you know, I've had written, um, stuff for the, uh, Star Wars 2015 comic series and the Darth Vader 2015 comic series, so, I might you know, go back and retouch the, uh, you know, what I wrote for it and record those and get those out, uh, or at least one of them, I don't know, it all depends, but, yeah, I'm kind of rambling on now, um, So yeah, you know, another episode of Luke's Star Wars Recap should maybe be out next week if there's something to talk about. Uh, I'll see, well, I guess there'll be new releases to talk about. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get out on Monday. Kind of depends. I'll be getting back Sunday, I believe, so yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, nothing else to really say. I'm going on and then off here. I've been sort of I'll catch you guys in the next one. Great care we must take. Why would anyone walk away from being a Jedi? We were trained to be keepers of the peace. Not soldiers.